Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Mike Norvell, the Florida State Seminoles, keeping the boys extremely busy, staying active in the transfer portal. We got another commitment to break down and former Alabama wide receiver and former number one JUCO prospect, wide receiver Malik Benson committing to Florida State. And this is a guy that from a physical trait standpoint, you absolutely fall in love with, right? And the number one JUCO product for a reason but this is a guy that coming out of high school, 6'1", 195 pounds, ran a 10-4, 100-meter dash time. That is one of the fastest that you'll see with guys coming from the high school ranks. The size and speed that Malik Benson brings to the table, that's kind of stuff you can't teach. And you start looking at this Florida State wide receiver, and we'll talk about it in just a second. You are really excited about all the weapons that are going to be at the disposal for this Florida State offense in 2024 want to talk Malik Benson, talk more about what this Florida State wide receiver room is going to look like in 2024. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. We just finished up talking about Devontae Brown committing to Florida State a couple hours ago. The boys are back on it. This has been a program. You guys know I have a blast talking about the amount of support you guys have shown. Like it, It's truly been special. It means a lot. If you guys do enjoy the content and enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel and it doesn't seem like Mike Norvell and the Florida State Seminoles are slowing down anytime soon so we'll continue to update you guys give you guys some of my takes on these new additions to Florida State and without further ado let's get into Malik Benson now he goes to Alabama after having a phenomenal Juco career for two years and doesn't necessarily get the playing time that many Alabama fans expected Malik Benson to get, right? This was a guy that when I was reading about Alabama heading into that 2023 season, Malik Benson's name kept popping up as being a guy to watch out for in the 2023 season. Now, a quiet season for Alabama, only 13 catches, 162 yards. But even during his limited time, you saw him flash what made him the number one Juco prospect the year prior. This is a guy that is extremely good with the football in his hands. He has that big physical frame combined with that speed. Now you go back to what he looked like as a Juco prospect coming out. This was a guy that during two seasons at the Juco level had over 102 catches for 2,200 yards and over 20 touchdowns. For those who don't want to do the math at home, that is almost 22 yards per catch. And where does Malik Benson excel? One, he excels working vertically down the field, right? When you have the speed that Malik Benson has, at that 10, 400 meter dash time, I mean, you can work vertically down the field, be a threat attacking that deeper third. But where I think Malik Benson probably is going to do his most damage and what I'm most excited about with this Mike Norvell, Malik Benson marriage here is what Malik Benson can do with the football in his hands. So you go back to the Juco film and I would encourage a lot of Florida State fans to just type in Malik Benson huddle, watch what he did at the Juco level. You'll get extremely excited about him. He's a guy that they would just slip him out screens. And when you're 200 pounds and running a 10-4, like that is an extremely physically imposing guy to bring down, not only from a physical standpoint, but then he'll just run away from you. Right? If you are a safety or a cornerback and you take a bad angle at Malik Benson, he will run right by you. And that is what excites me the most because where does Mike Norvell and this Florida State offensive staff really thrive in? They really do a good job getting their playmakers to football in space and letting them go be, be playmakers after the catch, I think Malik Benson is going to do the most damage with that in that kind of situation. Another thing I kind of want to note is that Malik Benson, you see a lot of people give Florida State, give Mike Norvell a lot of a lot of criticism being oh too transfer portal heavy. I would argue one, and we've talked about this, like the culture in Florida State is something if you follow this program and you listen to player interviews, and you listen to Mike Norvell, and you listen to how people feel about this program from the inside, there's not any culture question marks that you have with Florida State. So then you look at why is Florida State having so much success in the transfer portal? It's because they've turned guys into from getting guys from the portal into absolute stars, right? We talked about Jared Verse and Braden Fisk on the defensive line, but Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson, if you are a playmaking wide receiver that's in the transfer portal, Florida State has to be a massive destination for you to go to because you just saw Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson. Their draft stock absolutely explode getting to Florida State. I think Malik Benson kind of sees himself as that role, right? I got one year of eligibility left. I'm going to come to Florida State and be that guy to boost my NFL draft stock, win a lot of football games, and go to the NFL. 
And the last thing I want to talk about, we, we've, we've, uh, I've had a lot of conversations with you guys in the comment section talking about the speed on this Florida State offense. Let's just do a little recap. I did a little research project, project looking up some of these 100-meter dash times for these Florida State wide receivers. So we have Jalen Brown coming in from LSU, one of the fastest players in that 2023 class. He clocked a 10-6 in the 100-meter dash. Malik Benson clocks a 10-4, which is absolutely a silly number for someone his size. You have a guy like Jalen Lucas, who just comes in from Indiana, clocking a 10-6-6. So that's another guy that has absolute burners. Ja'Kai Douglas, an 11-second one. Destin Hill, an 11-second one. And although the 11 seconds don't sound as fast when you're talking about Jalen Brown and Malik Benson, those are extremely fast times as well. The amount of speed in this Florida State wide receiver room and on this Florida State offense it, it is absolutely insane. And what I think excites me even more is, okay, you have all these guys who can vertically stretch the field, are extremely dynamic with the football in your hands. You also have those bigger body receivers who can make stuff happen when that football's in the air in terms of being a contested catch wide receiver, right? Hakeem Williams, Kentron, Dorian Williams. There, there is a When you think about a wide receiver room and how you want it to look, you kind of want it to look like a basketball team, right? You want guys that can do a lot of different things. You have your speed guys. You have the guys that when they have the football in their hands, they can be extremely dynamic. They can stretch the field, but you also have those wide receivers that can go up and make a play over defensive backs as well. Guys like Hakeem Williams, Kentron, this Florida State wide receiver room, although maybe lacking a, a, a some returning production, I think is going to be one of those units that maybe during the, the fall time, or, or I guess we used to say like the spring and summer times, the, a lot of the national media – is going to be, oh, well, Florida State lost Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson, Jaheim Bell. I don't know how that passing attack is going to look in Tallahassee. And then I think Florida State fans are going to sit there knowing we got a ton of talent in this wide receiver room. I could see this group having a ton of success in 2024 and being a slept-on position group that really makes some noise in the 2024 season. Malik Benson, the latest commitment to Florida State, but Florida State absolutely crushing it. In the transfer portal. Wait, we'll maybe hop on and talk some more commitments later today. But Malik Benson coming to Florida State. I think a lot of Florida State fans have a lot to be excited about. Appreciate you guys always showing a ton of love to the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.